Hello everyone, and um, welcome back to La Mola 2. I'm Brian Jacob. Perk is here to watch me suffer as usual. And before we go to hell, I need to get rid of my weights. <laughs> so confused. <laughs> I'm I'm confused. And now we need to go down here. And give that like every other time apparently. That's where any uh, yeah, he would normally be just waiting to snap on you. <laughs> <laughs> judgment will be rendered before mad. To be prepared for judgment is to have a wicked heart. An innocent heart knows no wickedness. An innocent heart can balance the scales. The undead amid will render judgment the judgment. So you have to have no weights. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Matt's feather, acquired. A ritual item used for accessing yeah. the underworld. I wouldn't say it's exactly used for accessing it, but it's for accessing a specific part of the underworld. Well, we have that now. Let's go buy some weights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> well, you will need them. Actually, I probably should have checked if there was anything on these shops I should get. Well, there's some I could probably have gotten. Sure, you can. Um, uh... Hmm, wasn't there another shop? You have pepper, but do you have salt? No. Dog has those. I thought say the game probably provides that in copious amounts. That too. Um. What was the shop I wanted to go to? I mean, I think we might not have... Did we get the program from this guy? Oh, I guess I might as well check. Stalling now? Maybe. <laughs> oh, hey, a message. Hi, <laughs> come on, please, please, please. Just follow it all me. I mean, I'm not just some amateur show anymore. I'm not gonna be making my own food and stuff. So come on, please, go buy some pepper. Have success. Shit. New phone, who this? <laughs> and there's self food if something is offline. That's a bit of a late hint. You don't say. Alright, I'm pretty sure there was a shop on the other side of this area. I hate this area. Admittedly, any, le any long amount of time playing this game will make you hate every area. <laughs> <laughs> Shift 
this again. And we apparently have not seen her before. Oh. Well, in that case, we have a few glossary enters. We already read that one. And pretty yeah. sure we read Yeah, we already read Horus. Is that the one? But, uh, don't know if that was her, but still. Nephthys. Nephthys. I'm back. Betrayed <laughs> her brother Set and joined her enemy, the Iniad. She's known as the Sage of Night. Her role is to protect the souls of the dead, studying together with Isis, who governs the living. Hmm. Ah, that was the shop. Yeah. An yeah. unknown Ennead citizen. It's unknown how such a regular person ended up in Eglana. But you can find her unassumingly running her shop. Her broken speech suggests a poor education. Hmm. We're still missing one I don't know. I don't remember what it is. Oh well, we got the item. Time to suffer. After I go here. Looking forward to this, just so you know. <laughs> At least it's nice to have the volume for them. You might have noticed there's one direction we never actually went to straight fucking down. <laughs> the reason for that was this. That symbol down there will tell you that it's related to uh, Takamagahara because it's a Tori gate. And there is an NPC there that tells you what the combination is for opening it. I don't remember which an NPC it was, but there is one. Oh. There we go. You ready? People always tell me to go to hell. May as well start. Place. Oh, you think that's unpleasant? Yeah, um... <laughs> holy... can't use your holy grail. Lucifer was an Olymp the Olympian race of third children, but he was deemed a sinner was cast down to the underworld. His brain was tampered with and his thoughts have been lost, now he simply wanders about the underworld. Okay then. Also, hello you. As they say, welcome to hell. Statue of Hrysvelgir. A stone statue made of a monster created to monitor Eglana. So it appears to be made of stone, it's said that in reality it is actually alive. Albeit simply sleeping while Hrysvelgir is projecting himself elsewhere. Hello Ratatoskur. Hmm. Well done. No, nope, you are not gonna make me go down there. Not yet, at least. Stop jumping! Oh, my tower's stone. 
Oh yeah, remember those things? We killed one. We killed exactly one of them back in the Mulana one. I am not gonna try to pronounce them. I am, however, gonna open this. Ecosystem up. The Lord's throne that ascends to Nibiru is in the Dark Star Lord's Pyramid. The words needed to climb into the throne are hidden in footprints. Footprints concealed by the Dark Star Lord. I will do that later for now. This is what we need the feather for. Hmm. Hello, Anubis. If you wish to seek out the Ansuito cities, then you must solve my Osiris. riddles. Yeah. Osiris. Ah, prove your word. Ah, prove your word. We detest the intensity of pain. Hopefully we will not have to endure that which we detest. Behold the frozen ground at our feet. Rejoice, for we will be rendered powerless. Frozen ground, huh? Hmm. You, who have come from the world of the living, who stands on the precipice of doom, we will see the extent of your courage, then two of us will disappear. Instilling us the fear of the unspoken, you who have come from the world of the living, stand before the wheel of ages, we will hear the extent of your encanted silence, the two of us will disappear. Well, that third one is easy to do. Wheel of ages, huh? And how do you encant silence? Yep, that was it. I mean, it's clever. Yeah? So you might notice something. There's a there's a Mjolnir thing way up there. Hmm. I don't think we have the thing that makes the Mjolnir aim, so we're gonna have to wait for that one. Brahma asked Ameno Mikanushi, "What is creation?" Amaterasu illuminated all with a red light. The lives born from that are creation. Combustible gas. Not really relevant right now, but it's gonna be an issue. That's some other. Oh shit. Assuming, right. you Assuming you survive long enough for it to become an issue. Yeah, well, not really much to do here at the moment. There's that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's go. The gates that have a blue light get outside. And sometimes randomly into lava. But what's important is that we have use of the... Did you pop out of that furnace? Mm -hmm. It looked like you dropped out of a fucking furnace. No, I just, I just popped out in me there and right into lava. Okay. 
Es bueno este random lo que he hecho si canté que tú en Scandamin. No shit, right? It's fucking hell. <laughs> Well, we did some exploration into hell. Let's do some more of it. Just swap over to the other. Other what? To the. I mean, uh. That doesn't exactly help me with getting out of here. Yeah, but you were jumping left and right, and it certainly was not helping you. Yeah, I don't think there's getting out of here, so I'm just gonna. Die. Wasn't there like a... Uh, yeah, there it is, the player thing. Theoretically, help us get there faster. Maybe, maybe I just got it completely wrong. Okay, yeah. I just need to go like this. Uh, like this. Uh, a few skeletons, huh? Because of course there's a freaking gate right down there. Up oh, there go my clothes. Oh, what fun. Eurydice was turned to stone for breaking the code of the underworld. The last thing she hears is a song close to her heart. The song of paradise played by her husband. I feel like we've heard that before. So, that's... That's a fun spot. Abnas. Brahma asked Avsu, what is Kiecho? Absu was begotten of pure waters, so he answered that undefiled clear waters are creation. One way to play. That's one place to find it, huh? Also, it's an Ami soul. Among the gates of to hell lies a fake gate. 
Pasta Gaster. Pasta Gaster is a deep valley called Bleak Jandago Ball. But I have heard stories that suggest otherwise. That Pasta Fake Gator lived a demon called Ayesuki Takahikone. I can't believe I actually managed to pronounce that. Who takes the form of man and who can control the forces of destruction. There seems to be some sort of secret to the fake gate. Yes, that is basically the only reason we actually need the bronze mirror. If you, you know, if you actually remember which gates are which, that's the one, one that requires the mirror to. Fairy Guild Corporal. What in the fuck? Oh, it's 400 shit. Yee yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey you, Fairy, you want? Secret Fairy. Money, give it. Yep, that's the Secret Fairy, alright. I'll have to come back later. Actually. Oh, shit. Oh, you can attack in both directions. Well, I mean, check them, so check them. I'll take it. I'm so glad I made sure to be extra prepared for this. So there's a there's a certain tight shot there to the upper left, and a pressure plate. And sitting light beams. I'm sure those don't really matter, right? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, there's the grill point. <laughs> Just have to find a way over there. Yeah. The last gate to hell has endured several eras. The gate's decoration was done by hell's hand. The unadorned gates were also gates to hell. The first gate will take something from your person. Yeah, no shit. We noticed. Money! 221... Money, 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 money! The younger brother of the man who was murdered by the trickster, as the guard, Mudwood, where his brother's soul was to be found. Hell answered, when all weep for your brother, his revival will be permitted. However, the trickster did not weep, and so Hermod's brother did not return. Baldur. Mm -hmm. This is a big great evil thing that we'll have to kill at some point. Actually, I wonder. Can I scan this? Yeah. Bit of near statue. A stone statue of Vidofnir, a monstrous beard that is said to live at Jigasil's peak. Oh. oh well. The immortal giant who takes the form of an eagle, rest for gear. His soul departed from his body, wonder she Grazil. Unless his soul can be returned to a body, immortal he shall remain. Hello, Erish Kigal. I am Erish Kigal, the eldest of the underworld deities. Now I am but a being who simply exists here. What would you ask of a fallen deity? Where is the dissonance of this place? I know nothing about this dissonance of which you speak, 
but there are more than one generation of children living here in the underworld. This place is an accumulation of the deaths of each generation. No one apart from hell, the incumbent underworld deity, can control that sheer hatred. What are the sky people? The sky people appeared during our time. It was thanks to their power that we were able to develop our civilization at an impossible pace. And that power was also what caused us to begin to seek power other than that of the mother. The mother was an obstacle in their quest to rule over La Mulana. Then they became aware of Eglana. I know that they had prepared some sort of elaborate method for stealing Eglana, but from then on I never saw them again. Maybe about the captured twins. The twins of our race were captured by the tilt who were captured by the third children. Oh yeah, you know, twin labyrinth. Remember that yeah. place? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our race was thought to have been exterminated by the mother. But there must be a few survivors just like myself here in Eglana. With so few of us left, there is nothing we can do, irrespective of whether those born after us take advantage of the civilization we created or are destroyed by the mother, we will wait for the destructive end. We have no more reason to remain in this world. Thanks. Yay, way out. Ow. Just in case you weren't sure if you if we got stuck down here. <laughs> Yeah. Ow. I now I'm gonna be wise to retreat. This. Yeah, soon, but first need to get that. Very important, you know. Another map. Also. Hello there. That's a soul gate. And this is Kyron. One goal to cross the river. I ask for nothing else. Nah, no thanks. I'm crossing your own. Um, yeah, can't really do that. That's a bad idea. One goal to cross the river. Do it. I have no business with the wealthy. Drown yourself. <laughs> no, he's just a shithead. Can you figure out what we're supposed to do? Uh, I don't know. Cross it yourself. Nope. Can't. Ran, it may be time to be to retreat before you get killed. That's kinda what I'm trying to do. I mean, wasn't there a gate in the other room that you could leave through? Yeah, but I also want to do that though. So that leads to somewhere in the desert trip that we haven't been to. Also, a place that will kill me because it's kind of immune to normal weapons. And I don't have what I need to kill him. So, um, bye. Well. There is quite a, quite a lot to do in hell, but it is about that time of the video, so how about we end this by reading a few glossary entries, right? Just a few. Yeah, just a few. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. An Olympian monster with numerous heads and arms. The hideous creature was locked away in the underworld and was used to assist with the slaughter of the second children. Now he loiters around as a guard of the eternal prison. Unpleasant much? Mm-hmm. Avnaz. A fire demon born out of the chaos of Eglana. Their bodies are constantly ablaze, making them dangerous to approach. Sometimes they will spray an excess of flame at you. We noticed. Arrhenius. A hideous female monster with hair made of snakes. 
Aeneas was born from the blood shed by the second children when they were tortured in the eternal prison. Those who lay eyes upon her are said to have the very life sucked out of them. Yeah, she also has life to him. Cacus. A three-headed monster. Cacus extend long tongues from each of their mouths to attack. They have eyes on their front and back so you'll be spotted even when approaching them from behind. Yup. Yeah. Lucifuge Rufakel. A guard who serves the ruler of the underworld. He has three long horns sprouting from his head, which he uses to skewer trespassers. He is light bodied and enabled him to traverse the complex topography of the underworld with ease. It's a little shit, is what he is. That's a word for it. Urshakel. Underworld ruler selected from among the first children. She had the power to control plagues, and was thus deemed unfit for the world of the living and banished to the underworld. However, she worked her way up to become sovereign of the dead. Later generations of other races eventually took over her role as rule of the underworld, and she is now in retirement. Mm -hmm. Yo, when you just kind of retire from being the demon lord. Pretty much. It's Anami. One of the first children. Izanami is dead. Her husband came to find her in the underworld, but upon seeing her rotting form, he fled back home. Her flesh has now decayed and only her soul remains. Uh, yeah, I think it was her husband that actually is the one that gave you the seal. <laughs> in the combination. Anubis. Anubis. Priest of the Ennead of the fifth children. While searching for a way to raise the dead, the fifth children devised a means of preserving their flesh and souls. The authority on this right, Anubis succeeded in reviving the body of Osiris, who was killed by the Amon... Am Amarna? Um, yeah. Since then, he has assisted Osiris in the underworld. <clears throat> and in that thing. Yep. Yeah, that's just nuts. The youngest of the three old brothers who captured the last of the fairies. No, no, it's the price of four again. Uh, this one seems almost like a robot, but let's not worry about that. Let's just not. Yeah, let's go back and to this instead. Lumisa. <clears throat> Lumisa Kosugi's daughter, Lumisa, isn't very interested in archaeology, but loves adventure. Her age doesn't seem to match up with her father's, like, at all. But let's leave that to the complicated circumstances of the Kosugi family. Lumisa is a woman of few words, but is full of energy and tends to outshine her father in her upcoming adventure. She has learned ninja infiltration techniques passed down through the Kasugi family. And she's 21. And the men's is how old? 36. 36. So 9. 6. That's uh... That's like 15. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that don't, that don't add up. Nope. Alruna, one of the few surviving fairies in Eglana. Alruna has the power to increase one's fortune, which might result in chancing upon more gold than usual. Rather than raising people's fortunes to aid them, it almost seems as though she just likes the sound of money jingling around in pockets. Hmm. I'm okay with that. Yeah, as long as it helps in the end. Speaking mm -hmm. of which... Actually, we'll get her to give us more money next time. I'm missing a few entries that I don't remember. I've already spoken to him. But yeah. Uh, okay, we did read. We did get that one. And that one. And that one. Okay. Uh... Yeah, we've had that one. Yeah, definitely. Um, those definitely. I'm not sure why sometimes it decides to not mark them. Oh <laughs> yeah, that guy. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a new one. Yeah. A demon with no true form, the Angra ma Menu borrows the form of a lizard when appearing in this world. The body occupies is too hard to be pierced by any blade, crushing it between the great weight is the only way to defeat it. That was oh, a wild shit. death. Yeah. So... Set. 
Uh, yeah, we've seen that one before. That one's None. Good. A survivor of the original fifth children of ancient times. None can be found in the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum. Aware of the history of the fifth children, she keeps her distance from the Inead and Amarna. Yeah, no shit. And bleh. Hangu. Hangu is originally leader of the Kotamatsu, but was brainwashed by the sky people when becoming their vanguard. If the effects of the brainwashing subside, he might become your ally. Okay then. And Shinong. One of the Kotamatsu subjected to brainwashing by the sky people. It appears to have gone wrong in the case of Shinong, who appears to have been rendered insane. Shinong was one of the first children, but was given legs through the Chimera experiments. Hmm. Okay then. Oh uh, yeah. What the that fuck? Thing. Hall of Malice. Speaking of things we're gonna have to do at some point that we can technically do now. A chimera created by Orthrus and Typhon. One of the chimera experiments that did not use humans, Karkanos yielded the best results. Imagine that. A gigantic monster made of countless crabs. You could say he can put you in a rather crabby mood. You could say, yeah. Anyway, I hope you'll have fun. Nothing. And we'll see you next time when I decide if... Suffering! I... Yeah, when I decide which one's worse, the Hell of Malice or Hell. Bye bye